Hey guys, welcome to the video. Thank you for checking me out. I'm going to do a quick video tonight on Bitcoin. It's right around 30,000. Uh, some people believe it's going to go lower, which is a good possibility because everything's doing bad right now because of the economy. Also, uh, it could go a lot higher, and I believe it will. It might not be today, tomorrow, or next week. I will give it some time, and it should go up. Just like anybody who has investments, the longer you hold on to them, the more chances are you're going to win. So Bitcoin at 30000 I think it's a good place to get into. Sure, the price could go lower, but it's the number one coin. I believe I'm holding on to in my portfolio. I always try to collect any Bitcoin, no matter how small it is, just to up my position in having Bitcoin. Because I'm hoping in 2030 that Bitcoin will be worth maybe a million dollars or more or less, which you guys might not want to hear. Uh, so Bitcoin, if it does drop down to resistance and uh, it gets down to 27000 or 25000 uh, the more money you can invest in it, you just get a little bit more uh, percentage. If you could afford to get one Bitcoin, that would be great. Uh, nobody knows what the market's going to do. Uh, but like I said, there's people out there that want Bitcoin to go to zero, but uh, almost all cryptocurrencies follow the Bitcoin algorithm. And if Bitcoin goes to zero... I think everything else is going to go to zero with it. Uh, there might be one or two exceptions. What are they? I don't know. Uh, but they're going to have to be something that is a awesome blockchain that can handle all the transactions uh, effortlessly for low fees at a faster pace. Uh, there's other coins out there that are working now to uh, overtake uh, such coins as Ethereum. Uh, they're out there. I do believe that someday Ethereum uh, will be uh, taken over by another coin because everybody's always creating coins. Not saying they're good coins, uh, but there's also a chance that they might do uh, more transactions that quicker and uh, eliminate some of the backup in regards to gas fees on the uh, blockchain system. So any coin has a possibility of becoming a number one coin. It just you know becomes what you could do with that actual coin, except just look at it in your uh, Cryptocurrencies that you hold on whatever platform you might use, such as, say, Webull or Coinbase Pro. I know people are talking bad about Coinbase Pro now, so they're going to go bankrupt. Uh, but my thoughts behind the bankruptcy is that uh, with Coinbase, I, I believe a lot of people are taking out their money and possibly moving it around or putting it into a, a secured investment somewhere else. So uh, uh, they're paying out a lot of money, and so that might be causing an effect also on that. Uh, so... I'm no way an expert. It's just my opinion on it. Uh, I've tried to gather as much Bitcoin as I can. Uh, so if I was to recommend any coin for you to start with, I know it's real high at 30000 but as it goes lower, it's also a good point to get into. Because uh, someday when it goes back up, you're going to say, man, I should have bought it when I was at 30000 or 28000 uh, So just have patience and have faith and be strong. And someday it's going to go back up. might not be today or tomorrow. But in the future, uh, things will start rebounding and getting better. So hang on to your Bitcoin. If you've got a couple dollars, buy a little more. That's just my opinion. So thanks for checking me out. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Thank you.